Today our topic is long life. The lung, like any other organ of the body, is built by multiple cells. These cells form millions of breathing units and bronchial trees. This picture showed an example of a right upper lung nodule. The lung nodule is clumped up cells in the lung, which could be due to multiple reasons, from scarring, infection to cancer. Lung nodule is very common, as 1.6 millions of lung nodules are diagnosed yearly in the United States. They could be incidentally diagnosed during a jet X-ray or a CT scan examination for a different reason, or from lung cancer screening for high-risk patients. Here is another example of the right upper lung nodule, as seen in a chest X-ray. So, what happened to the lung nodule after all, and why do we have to care about it? So, the answer depends on the type of lung nodule. If it is scarring or benign or infection and appropriately treated, it will go down. In other words, just like the picture on the left-hand side right here, the nodule will decrease in size, or it will disappear after a certain amount of time. On the other hand, if the nodule is cancer, it would increase in size, and then it would spread to other organ close by, or it will metastasize. There are many type of cancer around the world. However, lung cancer is very special. It is the deathliest type of cancer among all other type of cancer around the world. Recently, within the last ten years, there have been multiple, multiple developments in the field of lung cancer treatment, and thus the mortality of lung cancer has significantly decreased. However, it is important to know that the key in the treatment is also to diagnose lung cancer early, because earlier lung cancer. Is much more favorable in prognosis than later stage lung cancer. Stage one A lung cancer has more than ninety percent survival rate within five years, whereas later stage lung cancer only have less than twenty percent survival rate in five years. So, should we just remove all the nodule, knowing that it could be potentially cancer? The answer is no, because the majority of lung nodules are not cancer. In fact, it is estimated that for nodules more than eight millimeters, the average risk of this cancer, this nodule to be cancer, is actually just about fifteen percent, and the risk will be higher or lower depend on various factors, such as nodule size, location, the borders, the growth of the nodule over time. The age of the patient and cancer history and multiple other factors. Subsequently, the doctor would use the cancer risk that they calculate to consider three options: whether the nodule would need just a follow-up imaging, or the nodule would need a biopsy, or the nodule would need surgery to remove it completely. This nodule is considered high risk, and then it was biopsied and showed it is lung cancer adenocarcinoma. This nodule also is considered something that would need a biopsy, and then it is in fact turned out to be a fungal infection. The workup typically involve a CT scan or a PET scan to see if there's any activity of the lung nodules that's suggesting cancer. In many cases, the doctor would just recommend to continue follow up on the nodule with CT scan in an interval of six month, one year, or two years. If the lung nodule gets larger or doesn't change in size,、uh, with a high risk of malignancy, the doctor would recommend biopsy. Biopsy meaning they use a small needle to get a piece of tissue from the nodule to send for testing to see if there's any cancer cells or any infection inside the nodule. There are two type of biopsy: transthoracic or through the chest wall biopsy, and then the second is transbronchial biopsy, meaning they go in from inside the lung and then biopsy from inside the lung. Transthoracic biopsy is one of the most commonly type of biopsy, 
um, with technically just biopsy using a needle going through your chest wall and then go inside the lung under direct vision of a CT scan imaging. This type of biopsy is considered fast and effective. However, it does have a complication about 10% of the time. The other type of biopsy is transbronchial biopsy, meaning the biopsy is performed from inside the lung into the tissue of the nodule. Under general anesthesia or moderate sedation, the doctor uses a very small thin bronchoscope going through your mouth, go inside the airway tree. This bronchoscope will go all the way to your, the area of interest of the nodule in the periphery of your lung. And because normally the lungs doesn't have any pain receptor, the procedure is usually painless. This procedure usually poses minimal risk to the patient, with the risk of pneumothorax or air leak from the lung less than 1%. With recent advances in the field of bronchoscopy, the safety and the efficacy of the biopsy through bronchoscopy has been improved. The procedure is very well tolerated and the patient go home on the same day. On the screen is the example of the navigational bronchoscopy where the blue is the target or the lung nodule virtually. The physician would use the small tiny bronchoscope to reach that blue target and biopsy it. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you.